السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Good morning everybody uh, With you Mr. Mohamed Al-Sayed The teacher of English from Afaq uh, Educational Company uh, And today's lesson is about uh, Listening and reading some skills okay? uh, We are uh, teaching now Mega Goal 2 For the first year secondary uh, Okay and let's get started Now we are on unit 1, exercise 1, uh, this unit is started by you've got mail, uh, one listen and discuss, and let's get started and listen to the text. From Jonathan Maynard, J. Maynard at finestfootwear.com, subject, response to your email. 2. Silva at MadeInBrazil.com Dear Mr. Silva, I want to apologize for not answering your email sooner. I've been on the road for the last few days, and I got back only yesterday. Although most of our shoes are imported directly from Asia, we are currently looking for new suppliers, such as ones in Brazil. I look forward to meeting you and discussing the various possibilities. Please email me as soon as you make your final travel arrangements to the United States so that we can set up a time for a meeting. Best regards, J. Maynard, Jonathan Maynard, Import Manager. Finest Footwear International. Okay, my dear students, this email is uh, a formal email, okay? When we want to write an email, we must put uh, some important uh, points in our consideration. First of all, we must use uh, from, like uh, you see on the board, uh, from and write your email here, uh, subject or the topic you are uh, writing about uh, to uh, the email of the person you are writing to, okay? Uh, every email must begin with dear mister, dear missus, dear uh, miss. Uh, you write dear followed by the title of the person. If he is a man, you write mister. If she is <coughs> a woman, uh, you can write missus or miss uh, or miss. Uh, according to the condition of this uh, female, okay? Uh, and you uh, must end this uh, email or any email by using best regards uh, with sincerely and like. Uh, and write your name, your job at the end of uh, under your signature, okay? Uh, let's read again this email. Uh, dear Mrs. Selva, I want to apologize. This is uh, for apology. We, wa we can say I want to apologize for not answering your email sooner. Okay? I'm sorry. Uh, I apologize means I am sorry for not answering your email sooner. I've been on the road for the last few days and I got back only yesterday. Although most of our shoes are imported directly from Asia, we are currently looking for new supplies such as, such as one uh, in Brazil. I look forward to meeting you and discussing the various possibilities. Please email me as soon as you make your final travel arrangements to the United States so that we can set up a time for a meeting. Okay? Uh, let's go ahead and complete listening. Your friend sent you an e-card from graduationcards.com. Click on the cake to view it. Okay. Uh, your friend sent you an uh, e-card from graduationcards.com. Click on the cake to view it. This is the card or the e-card from your friend. 
to from this website okay graduation course.com and let's read it although you're out of sight you aren't out of mind and even though you are far, far far away i want to wish you a great graduation day have a great graduation day let's listen to it again although you're out of sight you aren't out of mind and even though you're far away I want to wish you a great graduation day. Okay, let's go to the next From website. From David Hamilton, dhamilton at unicor.com. Subject, out of office reply for David Hamilton. Two, P. Smith at unicor.com. I will be out of the office from October 19th to 22nd and will not have access to email. For any urgent matters, please contact Sean underscore Taylor at unicor.com. David Hamilton. Okay. To oh. Olivia oh. at oh. megagoal.com. Subject, visit you in Paris, November 15th. Hi, Olivia. How's work and how's Paris? Hope you're getting used to your new way of life and taking advantage of living in such a wonderful city. Guess what? I'm coming to France on vacation at the end of the month and I'll be staying in Paris for a few days. I was wondering if you could put me up. However, I don't want to inconvenience you in any way. I'm used to sleeping anywhere. Let me know if it's all right if I stay with you. What's the weather like now? Last time I was in Paris, it was so rainy that I was soaked most of the time, in spite of my raincoat and umbrella. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again. Your best friend, Melanie. Okay, guys, this email is in four minutes. It was sent from Melanie to her friend Olivia, okay? <clears throat> when we write the emails like this, we write the uh, date uh, about uh, and then we uh, greet our friends we can say hi instead of dear okay this is the end of uh, informal emails uh, she asked it <coughs> she asked her friend about work she said how's work uh, how's work after that, she said, uh, wait, please. Okay, hi, my, uh, my dear students, uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, hi, Olivia, this is her greeting to her friend, okay? Uh, she asked her about work. She said, how's work? Uh, and asked about the place she left, uh, Paris, and said, how's Paris? And hope here uh, that she uh, is getting used to new uh, way of life and taking advantage of uh, living in such wonderful city. Uh, she means Paris. Okay. Uh, we have the word here taking advantage to to benefit from to benefit from living in Paris. Uh, the second paragraph she uh, starts with guess what? Guess what? Uh, I'm coming to France, okay? Uh, I use this way. Uh, I use the word guess what when I want to say something new to surprise my uh, listeners, or my friends, okay? She said, I'm coming to France on vacation. This is a new news, okay? Uh, at the end of the month, and I'll be staying in Paris I'll be staying in Paris for a few weeks we, uh, she used here this uh, tense I'll be staying this is uh, future okay continuous future to talk about something what will happen in a specific time in the future okay I then uh, she said I was wondering if you could put me up uh, 
put put me up put me up here to say you help me you support me okay however i don't want to inconvenience you in any way uh, she say to her friend that uh, she wish not to interrupt her work okay uh, or uh, her uh, uh, place of living okay i'm used to sleep anywhere i'm used to sleeping uh, anywhere uh, let me know if it's all right if i stay with you the third paragraph what's the weather like now she asked her about the weather last time i was in paris uh, it was so rainy that i was soft soft most of the time in spite of my raincoat and umbrella okay i'm really looking forward to seeing you again uh, she uh, finished her email by saying i'm really looking forward to seeing you again and uh, she wrote your best friend uh, Melania. okay okay let's uh, complete our uh, lesson okay next page listen and discuss a quick check a vocabulary mark the way to start or end letters or email to start an email or a letter uh, we have said that we you mm, we must use dear okay or hi uh, in the informal uh, emails or letters and we should end them by uh, writing best regards uh, your best friend i'm looking forward to seeing you from you or i'm looking forward to hearing from you your sincere and so on uh, look at the board and uh, notice that uh, these underlined words number in the, at the first email dear mrs silva dear mr silva uh, at the beginning and at the end uh, he wrote best regards uh, in the informal letter, the last one, uh, Melania or Melanie uh, uh, wrote, Hi Olivia, hi Olivia, this in the informal email. And she in the, her email by you uh, writing your best friend. It's okay now? Okay, let's go to the next exercise. Uh, this exercise, okay, uh, these are its uh, answers. As you see, you can write them. <coughs> Number one, uh, Mr. Minard answered the email as soon as he returned. It is true. Mr. Minard's company is not interested in doing business with Mr. Silver. False. Number three, although your friend is far away, they don't forget your graduation day. True. Number four, David will answer all emails even though he's out of the office. F. Uh, Melanie is hoping to stay with uh, Olivia even though it will be inconvenient. False. Uh, uh, number six, even though Melanie was wearing a coat, she got wet and hurt. Yeah, true. Let's go to the next exercise. Okay. Uh, ap apologize for something. When we apologize, we can say, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm afraid. Okay. And you can say, I apologize for. I apologize for. Let's uh, listen to the first uh, method. I want to apologize for not coming to your graduation term. Listen. I want to apologize for not coming to your graduation ceremony. I want to apologize for not coming to your graduation ceremony. And we can reply saying, don't worry. Don't worry, that's quite all right. Don't worry, that's quite all right. Don't worry, that's quite all right, okay? Wish someone the best uh, on a special occasion. We can say, congratulations. I wish you lots of success. Congratulations, I wish you lots of success. Okay? Congratulations, I wish you lots of success. 
Uh, and you can reply saying? Thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to the new job. Again? Thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to the new job. Okay, let's listen to the last time. I want to apologize for not coming to your graduation ceremony. Don't worry. That's quite all right. Congratulations. I wish you lots of success. Thanks a lot. I'm looking forward to the new job. Okay, my dear students, this is all today. Uh, I uh, hope you a uh, happy day and uh, success in your life. And see you, to see you in the next lesson, inshallah. See you and bye-bye.